Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis, Lewis Speaks 2021, and today I want to talk to you all about friendships. You know, it's very hard these days to try to find a good, healthy, strong friendship. Everybody is so selfish and so narcissistic that they're unable to really, really be a support to anyone these days. And I realized something. Sometimes, sometimes you have to take a break from friendships. You have to take a break from certain friendships. And it's not necessarily because they're bad people. It's because they lack awareness. They lack awareness into how certain behaviors that they exhibit interfere with the formation and the maintenance of a good friendship. And so what ends up happening is you have to give them space and time to gain that awareness and also give them space to realize that it's a cold world out there and you're going to need good friends. You know, you can't put your friends on the back burner and treat your friends like an afterthought and be inconsistent with your friends and think that they're still going to be around. That's the thing. And I've noticed that people take their friends for granted these days. They take relationships for granted. They don't respect relationships. Me, I value all my relationships. I make sure I check in. I make sure that I communicate. Because to me, friendship is an honor. It's not a right. It's a gift and it's an honor. And I cherish all my friendships. But people don't feel the same way that I do. And that's okay. Because I realize that it's important when a person don't feel the same way that you do, you have to move on. You have to give them space so that way they can go out there, get a couple of knocks, meet their match, you know, and then they'll come back and they'll gain an understanding, hopefully, if they're smart. But it's really, really, really important to distance yourself from people that are not showing you that they are good friends. I've recently had to do that with someone that I called a friend. You know, I confronted them on some toxic behavior that I've noticed and they weren't able to handle my observations. They tried to shift blame. They tried to flip the script. They tried to deflect. You know, they use all the tools a narcissist would use to try and basically just shift the blame onto other people. It's everyone else's fault. It's never their fault. And I cannot deal, me personally, I cannot deal with somebody who does not take accountability and ownership for their behaviors. I can't do it. Because we all mess up from time to time. We're human beings. But when I confront you on that and I offer constructive feedback and constructive criticism and you basically come out of a bag on me, well then, I have to, I have to sever that relationship because I can't. If I can't be real with you, if I can't come to you and talk to you about what's bothering me about you, and you can't come to me and talk to me about what's bothering you about me, what are we doing? We're just faking our way through a friendship. And a lot of people nowadays are just faking their way through a friendship. They're faking away. They're smiling. They're laughing. They know damn well that they don't like this person. They know damn well the resentment has reached an all-time high. But what they do is they mask the resentment. They hide it. And they smile. They put on the smile and act like everything's gravy when really everything's not. And then when something else happens, they have this big blowout because of all the things that they basically didn't express. You know, the truth that they refuse to express. And so it's important that when you have a friend, you be honest with that friend and that friend be honest with you. And that's what I tried to do with this former friend, but it didn't go very well. So it is what it is. You know, I realized, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of people need that space in order to realize what they had. Because there are some people in this world who only value what they had when they get another taste of what's really out here. When they start to see other people out here who are selfish, inconsiderate, users, scammers, players, they'll be missing my company and they'll be missing your company too if you're a good friend. They will realize what, oh wow, they really had a great friend in you. You know? It's kind of like, you know, Paradise Lost. I think our entire existence as human beings is based on this model of Paradise Lost. 
Our original parents were in a beautiful paradise earth. And then what ended up happening, they saw something that was more desirable to their eyes. So they bit into this forbidden fruit and unleashed a series of crazy happenings one of them being nudity, they realized that they were naked and their nakedness was something shameful. And so what ended up happening is that they were thrust out of the Garden of Eden into the wilderness, practically, where they had to fend for themselves. And initially they tried to come back, but there were two guardians, two angels with flaming swords protecting that garden. So they lost paradise, all because they thought that something was greater out there. And there are some people who think that there are other things that are greater. They take you for granted because they're out there trying to gain the love and support of strangers and the love and support of the masses. So they take your friendship for granted and come to realize that those masses, those other people that were out there, they were nothing. They were no one. And then all of a sudden they miss your friendship. But by that time, you've already moved on. So my thing is this, if you have friendships, real friendships, do not take them for granted. Don't think that your friends will always be around. Don't think that you could put them on the shelf and then take them off and dust them off whenever it suits you because you're taking them for granted. And when you take your friendships for granted, when you put them on the back burner, you treat them like they're an afterthought, Guess what? They will become an afterthought. They'll move on and then you'll be thinking after the fact, oh wow, I really had a great friend in this person. So make the effort, make the time, cultivate your relationships. We're under the impression nowadays that friendships are effortless, that we don't have to do anything. All we have to do is just let everything just happen naturally. And while to a certain degree that's true, also, we have to keep in mind that friendships over time, as you progress, they take work, they take effort. And if you're unwilling to put in that effort, well, then you won't have a friend. So I encourage everybody out there who has great friends, who has great relationships, please hold on and hold on tight. Because nowadays, huh, they have a saying, you couldn't buy a friend after 1988. And that's true. That's true. A lot of people out here are just not real anymore. Many people are just looking to use and play people. Many people just want fans, followers. They don't want real people anymore. So if you got someone real, you better hold on tight and you better thank God above that you, fi you found somebody found somebody who's worthwhile because huh, this world is something else. It's hard out here when you don't have good association. So I leave you with that. I wish everybody a beautiful, beautiful, successful, bountiful new year. You know, I know we're all trying to get through this pandemic together and we will get through it. We will get through it. As long as we continue to wear our masks, wear our protective gear, you know, take care of ourselves and also stay connected. Stay connected to the people who are real in your life because they are your lifeline, especially, especially right now. So I wish everybody a wonderful day. Peace, y'all.